Liverpool should have signed Brentford striker Evan Tony instead of Darwin Nunes. That's according to Peterborough United chairman Darren McAnthony speaking on his The Heart Truth podcast. McAnthony suggested that Tony would score more goals for Liverpool than Nunes will. Let me ask you the next question. Darwin Nunes, 85 million parceling, 23. Even Tony, 26. Who is the better number 9? Query the chairman, who's a Liverpool fan. Nunes might have a hell of a career. He might do really well for Liverpool. Liverpool like to be direct. Let's not joke. Liverpool are a direct football team. All of our goals come from fullbacks and crosses. We are a little direct and it suits us. There's nothing wrong with that. You're telling me an even Tony in Liverpool's team wouldn't score 25 goals with those fullbacks delivering. Come off it. Brentford named their prize for Tony. Tony has undoubtedly got something about him. Having scored 12 goals in his debut Premier League campaign last season, he has 5 from 6 games this time around. That included a pretty impressive hat-trick against Leeds United last weekend. All of this has inevitably led to suggestions that he could leave Brantford for a team higher up the food chain. He wouldn't come cheap, though. According to the Eye this summer, the Beast would be asking at least 40 million parceling for their top scorer. At that price, and despite McAnthony's claims, Tony wouldn't look like the most natural of fits at Liverpool. The 26 years old is an immensely physical striker, not something you necessarily associate with the Liverpool forwards. Then again, he does have a great touch, good link-up play and knows where the back of the net is. Tony is also a Liverpool fan. In 2021, he told the On The Judy podcast that if Liverpool came in for him, he'd definitely be interested. But for our money, 40 million porcelain looks like a big fee for a player who wouldn't be first choice at Anfield. Brentford's asking price may also be on the rise after a very good start to the season. Tony may well be a decent fit under Jurgen Club, but unless the former Peterborough striker's asking price drops unexpectedly, we wouldn't put money on him joining the Reds anytime soon.